pretty sure that Vincenzo Perugia stole the Mona Lisa. But for decades, another name has been promoted as the mastermind of an elaborate plot behind the theft. He was the Marquis de Valfierno. This was a man who was shrouded in mystery and still is, but he was such a delicious con man. The story goes that Valfierno had a forger make six perfect copies of the Mona Lisa, which he sold to gullible American millionaires. And Perugia? He was just a patsy, hired to steal the original. And according to Valfierno, the only purpose in stealing the Mona Lisa was in creating international headlines, which he did. The origin of the story was an article published 20 years after the theft in the Saturday Evening Post. It was written by an American journalist named Carl Decker. Decker got his training as a newspaper man under William Randolph Hearst. Hearst journalism was very sensational. It was journalism where you couldn't tell where fact left off and fiction began. We spent months researching Decker to see if his story was fact or fiction. In the end, we found no proof Valfierno ever existed. But I did find where Decker may have gotten the story. I think he lifted it from accounts of other criminals of the day, like a con man who sold bogus art to American millionaires, and a big-time crook who was suspected of trying to sell a forgery of the Mona Lisa. Sound familiar? And Decker didn't even bother to check the facts he used about the masterpiece. He said the painting and its frame weighed nearly 220 pounds. No, the tableau de la Joconde, c'est un tableau en fait très léger. J'ai déjà pris dans mes mains, euh, avec le cadre comme euh, sans le cadre, très facile à prendre. Hein. And what about those six forgeries? That's one of the main reasons for not believing the story. It's almost 100 years later, and none of these six perfect copies of the Mona Lisa has ever turned up in anybody's collection, anybody's attic. It's 100 years later. Where are these six copies? I asked a professor who studied Decker if we can believe this story. Journalists often say, does it, does, it, does, it, does it pass the sniff test? Does it pass the smell test? Uh, it's, it's an entertaining story, for sure. It's a detailed story. But in the end, is it plausible? Is it likely? I don't think so. I agree. And Valfierno? I think Carl Decker simply made him up.